Hey everybody, I'm Lester Bird. We have some exciting new innovations to talk about. Juniper has added MPLS and MaxSec to Sonic. We are using Juniper's newest 400G modular chassis, the PTX 10008. Let's talk about MPLS first. This is our test topology. We're using an SDN controller to generate MPLS routes. We also have a couple of Ixia ports to generate MPLS traffic. This is the MPLS programming sequence. The STN controller uses HTTPS to talk to an agent running on the PTX 10008. The agent uses the Juniper Extension Toolkit to talk to CRPD, Juniper's advanced routing stack. CRPD adds the routes to the Linux kernel. It publishes the Redis where SyncD picks up the publication. SyncD calls Psy to program the PFE's fib. Let's go to the console and execute some commands. From this screen, we see that the agent has received 140 MPLS routes from the controller, and CRPD has programmed all of them. We see the push, pop, and swap routes. Using the standard IP route command, we can verify that CRPD has installed the MPLS routes into the Linux kernel. To make MPLS work with Sonic, we had to add a few Redis tables. We show them here briefly. As might be expected, there's also MPLS information in the ASIC DB. We now verify that the routes have been programmed from Sonic to the PFE fib. Lastly, we confirm that the PTX 10008 is doing the MPLS work like we expect. We bring up Wireshark and look at the packet decode. Here we see an MPLS packet. This is an MPLS swap. That's MPLS in a nutshell. Let's take a look at MaxSec now. This is our test topology, but before I get too far, I want to tell you something that's exceptionally noteworthy. The PTX 1008 can do 400G line rate MaxSec. Isn't that awesome? I'm working on a video for it, so keep a lookout. For now, we'll show you how we integrated MaxSec into Sonic using a much simpler topology. Let's type some commands. First note that we've added a new MaxSec stanza to configdb.json. We've also added a new MKA Docker container. The main process in this Docker container is open source WPA supplicant. We've added XPN to WPA Supplicant to handle 100G and 400G interfaces. WPA CLI allows you to look at current MaxSec information. Finally, we ping between the PTX 10008 and the Linux server, the MaxSec Peer. As you see, ping is successful. An interesting experiment happens when we kill WPA supplicant on one side of the MaxSec tunnel, in this case the peer. When we kill WPA supplicant, ping stops. When we restart WPA supplicant, ping resumes as expected. We can also look at MaxSec activity by examining the normal Sonic logs. In closing, Juniper has added some fantastic new Sonic features. We will upstream MPLS and MaxSec changes to the Sonic community, so please look forward to them. We invite you to come by and talk to us at the Juniper booth. Thanks for your time, and talk to you soon.